put me going as you could, analyze as much as you could. And we had a phenomenal crew from the FBI there in that lab. Um, you know, when you're you're awake for for 10 days and you're getting two, three hours sleep a night, and when we had to shut the lab down, everyone was was, you know, they were they were. Uh, fried, they were upset, you know, tears in people's eyes. We need to keep going. We need to keep going. We need to keep going. Well, yeah, the problem was we couldn't because all our contaminated, all our equipment was contaminated by that time. You know, we better take a commercial break, but when I get back, I have a couple more questions for you about the World Trade Center, uh, the, the, the first World Trade Center bombing. Uh, we're here with Dr. Fred Whitehurst, FBI whistleblower, uh, involved in some of the, the hugest cases, cases of uh, uh, history in, in the past uh, 20, 30 years. Uh, we'll be right back with more of Dr. Fred Whitehurst after these messages. And now a word from our sponsors, Pacific West Bamboo your premier source for sustainable building material. They provide construction grade and craft grade bamboo material for all your indoor, outdoor, and gardening needs. Uh, contact them for event planning and display building as well. 503-839-8126. Or you go to their new website, PacificWestBamboo.com. Or you can contact them on Facebook at Pacific West Bamboo. That's 503-839-8126. Eight one two six. Amanda from Pacific West Bamboo was. Uh, you get full access to brand new original content, new guests, new uncensored interviews. My own. We're going to be adding uh, sections with documents, images, police reports, uh, either provided by myself or by my guests, or for my own investigations, my own reports. Uh, so you can go to OppermanReport.com and you can sign up there tonight. You can start listening tonight. Strawman. I want to mention Strawman. Strawman is a band uh, out of Toronto, Canada. Uh, they're good friends at the Opperman Report. Uh, they're a trio of guys who share the same mindset uh, most of us here do, and they put that energy into their words and music. Uh, so check them out at uh, strawmanmusic.com and drop them a line uh, to let them know that you heard them here on the Opperman Report. Uh, we'll be doing a, an interview with Sean Duffy soon. You can get an autographed copy of my book, how to succeed as a private investigator by visiting my PI website, emailrevealer.com. We also offer a computer and cell phone forensics. We can recover deleted text messages to uncover infidelity, investigations and reports, and we're at al.com. New World Mexican Women. Everyone loves the New World Mexican Women and their, their line of fine, handcrafted, authentic ju Mexican jewelry of stone mosaic, held in love with a rope. And she runs away with him uh, without telling her family. You can find me. Uh, tell you about my friends over at uh, michiganmushrooms.net. Now, they offer the highest quality chaga chunk available. It's picked fresh from uh, healthy live trees in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, sun-dried, and quickly shipped to you. Uh, to sell uh, 20 different species of mushrooms, uh, proof of this certification, as well as laboratory test results showing the levels of poly uh, betu uh, betulinic uh, acid, and more are available on request. Check them out on Facebook, Michigan Mushrooms LLC, or their website. You can order mushrooms tonight at michiganmushrooms.net. If you go to the Opperman Report blog, uh, there's a link there uh, and has a code, uh, a code from the Opperman Report. Use your code, uh, the word ED, and you get 10% off. And it makes a great Christmas gift. Uh, but we stack rides and uh, uh, and then they were able to lure one of the bombers back to the rental company by telling him that he had a deposit. Now, now, now what do you make of that story? Did, did, you were there. Did you find that VIN, VIN number? No, I'll tell you what. The FBI didn't find that VIN number. What happened was the FBI declared that they were in charge of the crime scene, okay. and um, uh, which was somebody had to be in charge. And um, there was a, a crusty old AI It was ATF. They were the heroes there. Um, they, the VIN number led to a particular place that the thing was rented out, and they got the guy back there, and that then began the, okay, well, here's who did it, kind of. It, was, it wasn't, once ATF decided they were going to do it right, then that's the way the thing um, figured out. Okay, so <laughs> and while you were working on that, you didn't see any kind of mishandling of evidence or any kind of perjury or anything going on in that case? Um, you know, 
there was there was, it was it was a um it was how would you say there were a lot of mistakes made there were a whole bunch of mistakes made um but um you know when you've got 40,000 tons or 200,000 tons of rubble that you're dealing with and you're trying to go through it and you've got people from six and seven different agencies and there's always, um, what do you say, people at each other's throats from different agencies, um, <clears throat> that's, that's what's going to happen. There makes it, mistakes are going to be made. Um, and that uh, that crime scene was probably... You know, it's one of the most complex in American history up until that time. What we what we really ended up with, from my my sort of where I was looking at it, was we had a president said no stones under turn, unturned. We had a, an attorney general that said, and we went on down the line, but um, nobody wanted to run the thing. <laughs> okay, nobody wanted to be there, and micromanage or whatever up until. There was an FBI, FBI agent in the FBI's explosive unit who uh, just went in, and we were all over at the, oh, another building that was near there, and it was a staging area. And all these agencies and people milling around and a lot of hot tempers, and he stood up on this stool and he said, this is the FBI crime scene, and anybody gets in our way, it's going to be, be – um, you know, we're going to hold you for obstruction of justice, so get out of our way. You want to be part of the, the answer or – you want to be part of the problem. And everybody was pleased. I mean, you know, he stood up and said, this is the way it's going to go. And I was very proud of him. Uh, I wouldn't have wanted to run that crime scene. It was chaos. There was no way to control people coming and going. There was no way to, you know, there were some, there were some firemen that were in the building. They brought their girlfriends in to show them the crime scene. And there was uh, some, some media folks that went right in and it was, um, it was extremely dangerous. You know, that building was swaying, and uh, what was going to happen if it, you know, if it caused the building to come down, it was a, it was a miracle in, in engineering that stabilized the whole thing. And, um, you know, sadly, it didn't last for too many years. But um, uh, was there, were there problems? Yes, there were some, some phenomenal problems there. But I think that the prosecutor that handled it um saw the problems and and um was forthright about them upfront about them uh if there was problems with evidence he didn't introduce you know the evidence as part of uh, part of what went on the uh, the forensic work was you know it was it was just almost impossible you know here, here's 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 the thing you get a the, the the bomb was supposed to have been made of a, a material called urea nitrate but urea nitrate goes off and it puts nitric acid all over, I mean, nitrate ions all over in urea. But urea is used to melt ice at that time on the streets of New York. So if you found urea, it didn't mean anything. And nitrate ions come from, you know, this acid rain we've got and car exhaust and things like that. Um, so people tried to say, we found it, therefore that's what this means. And our response was, well, it might be what it means, but there are other things that... Um, that it could, you know, could point to. And I remember I wrote a report offering alternative explanations for the data. And I got the report back, and my boss, who's a really great guy, he said, Fred, I don't want to, I don't want to push this on you, but the guys up top don't want you to put alternative explanations in the report. You know, this could have come from a urea nitrate-based bomb. However, there are other things, and I named some other things. And I looked at him, and I said, Well, you know what? Then they can fire me. I'm not going to lie in a court of law, and I'm not going to lie on this report. We knew that what the issues were, the vulnerabilities were, and um, I wasn't the only guy that stood up. You know, there were there were other people that said the, the FBI management is a mess. I'm telling you, it's a mess. They get there by by political means rather than than um, what what do you say uh, uh, just honest police work. And once they get there, they want to stay there, and it's. You know, you, you 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 make this truth whether anybody wants it or anybody believes it or not, because that's the way you're going to get promoted to the next level. And one of these days, they're going to profile FBI managers correctly so that people don't get promoted just because they wanted to agree with the with a director. 
they ought to be promoted because they're honest, hardworking people who say what they believe, despite the consequences. But that's my that's my ten cents worth here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's worth a lot more than ten cents. Um, now, okay, I guess uh, so. That pretty much covers the World Trade Center bombing. What about the Oklahoma City bombing? Now, I know you have some kind of a uh, problems with that, right? Yes. Um, when the bomb went off, I got a call immediately from some people on the ground who had been students of mine at Quantico, and they wanted me to help. And again, by that time, the FBI was not going to send me to the crime scene. So my student who become my partner and uh, a youngster who didn't know his head from a hole in the ground packed up and went out to the crime scene. And again, it was one of these horrendous, too much, too much. And, you know, from the time the, the device went off until the next day, they had a gully washing.